Welcome to Cabmaster. Today we're going to talk about symbols that have been added into Cabmaster version 11. Symbols can be found under the Annotate tab. And these are the symbols here. You can add in your own symbols. These can be anything from a earth symbol, uh, so actual symbols that you require for drawings. Um, they're also scalable, which is a nice thing. They're infinitely scalable. They're a static image. Um, it can be something like this, a north symbol. Again, hold down shift and you can drag it to any size you like. And then you can move it around, put it anywhere you want. Um, they're quite good. They can be used for anything. It can be something you can draw yourself. So if you want to draw, say, a rectangle, and then uh, well, let's do something really crazy. Like you can literally draw anything you like. Um, oh, let's put a... There we go. That's a bit strange. Highlight right click on it and convert a use as graphic symbol that will now add it into here so I can now delete this so the difference is this here is four different pieces so if I delete that and delete that delete those parts I've now got this symbol I can use here which I can click on and drag around it's now one piece it's just one piece but it's now also completely scalable any size I like so you can do anything you want with it, you can move it where you want, you can use it as a notation. Um, the other thing you can do, you can actually import other things as symbols. So symbols can be really good if you're going to have yeah, a regular block of text or something you want to use. So what we can do, you can get the, the, um, the 3D import. You drop down that, double click on it, which brings up this window here. You can now get a 3D model. So here's a way to get the new, really fancy ones in. Browse. So I'm going to go to DXF files. I'm going to import a disabled symbol. Now it shows you, you can see how big it is. It shows me the size of it. I'm going to make that much bigger. We have a disabled symbol here. So I can now right click on that. So this has now brought in a, uh, a DXF file into a 3D model. From there, I can right click on that and go use as graphic symbol. Now I've got that in there permanently. Can delete that. If I ever need a graph a disabled symbol, I now have one of that size, which can then be scaled to whatever size I like. And I can move that around, put that wherever I want as well. Now once you've done this, you can actually go and save the symbol. You click on that, go save. I can call that disabled symbol. Okay. So I've now got that in, stored in my library for whenever I want to use it. It's now there. If you click on the drop down, it shows you the current ones in your library, saved ones and current ones you've actually been using recently. So if I want to use any of these, I can save them to my library as well. So I go back to Browse, DXF Files, Fire Symbols. So again, it shows me how big it is. Let's make it bigger. Let's make it oh, 20 times would be enough. This is now a full block of fire symbols. If you're doing something like this, fire protection you use on a regular base, you can bring that in. Now it looks a bit grainy from there, but it is actually neat and tidy text. I can click on that and go use as graphic symbol. I can happily do that, which will now add it into there save fire symbols that's now saved in my library for later use so if I ever need that again click on that pull it down go yep I want to put that to there it's now ready for use and it'll print on my plan next time so symbols can be really really useful from the, the simplest thing um, you can make your own if you draw up a common thing do it yourself save it as a symbol reuse it for later scalable that's the beauty of those things so um, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully this has explained symbols a little bit better.